Hey everyone, welcome to Try Hack Me. Today we're going to be going over the tutorial room and how to get connected and get up and running so we can start attacking machines and completing rooms on the site. So first things first, you'll need to navigate to the tutorial room. I will have a link to this in the video description as well. Otherwise, it's up here at the top. And then we can go ahead and dive into task one, starting your first machine. On Try Hack Me, you'll learn by starting and hacking machines. Let's start your attack box, a web-based machine used to attack other machines you start on tasks. So if you're not familiar with it, the attack box that we have is a Kali Linux machine that is in your web browser. So you don't have to have a powerful computer to be able to complete things on Try Hack Me or really need to do anything other than just using the attack box. Um, we can go ahead and start that by clicking the button up here in the top right, just that blue button here. And then we also want to start one other machine attached to the tutorial room. So let's go ahead and go through the steps here. So click the blue start attack box button at the top of this room. Again, that's going to be up here in the top. It's not showing for me because I have the screen split and the attack box already starting. The attack box is what you'll use to access target machines. You start on tasks such as this one. So try hack me. The machines that you deploy are on the try hack me network. In order to access them, you either need to connect to the network with your own machine, or you can just use the attack box that we provide. As a free user, you get one hour per day, so every 24 hours, of the attack box. Uh, as a premium user, you get as much as you want if you're subscribed to the website. Now, a couple things to note. As a free user, you do not have internet access from the attack box. However, you can still use it to attack machines, and by and large, it's going to be updated to the point where you can use it for pretty much every room with that issue with that one hour per day be careful not to close this between rooms you want to leave it running you close the machine that i'll be showing you in just a little bit which is attached to this specific room or to a specific room that you're doing uh, which is going to be this green button here the attack box will go between rooms for you though which is really nice because you can keep things up if you've already spun something up it's already there for you so start the target machine shown on this task and wait one minute for it to configure. It's going to be this green button up here. So we can go ahead and click that. Um, I might need to refresh my page. It might not be super happy with me. We'll give it a second. So refreshing the page, it won't kill your attack box or anything. And you can see that I'm connected up here. And there we go. I needed to refresh it. Sometimes this will not be clickable. If that ever happens, you just need to refresh the page nice and easy. And we can see that up here at the top, we have our target machine for this room, the tutorial room, deploying. Now we have the title over here, which is the name of the machine. Uh, this will be indicative of uh, whatever you're attacking. Uh, keep in mind that as a free user, you can only have one target machine open at a time. So you can only have one of these machines open. And again, you get that one hour of the attack box, so that Kali Linux box uh, that uh, you have, again, without internet access per day. So uh, with this, you get as many of these machines as you want per day, but you can only have one up at a time for as far as the target machines go, but one hour of the attack box per day. We can see over here that we also have the IP address. There is a small timer on this because we need to let the machine start. Uh, they too take a little while to spin up, especially Windows boxes. They, uh, Windows computers, as you've probably noticed just from outside of TriHack Me, they take a little while to load. And then we can see our expiration time here. So all the machines for the target machines default to, I believe, two hours. If it starts to run low, we can add an hour and we can terminate it once we're done with this room. Again, make sure that once you're done with a room, you terminate the box that is attached to that room. Um, don't terminate your attack box. Don't terminate your attack box until you're done with the day because you can only want, launch that once. All right, so we've got that up here. We can see our target IP address and we'll go ahead and start interacting with it at a moment. So copy the IP address of the machine. You just started it on this task. You can see up here on the top, this will typically travel with the top. It doesn't travel because I have my screen upscaled so it's more visible on YouTube. We can go ahead and go over here on the side with our attack box, press enter to close that dialogue. It's just a, please don't do illegal things with this. Please use it only for try hack me things. Nice and straightforward. We can go ahead and open up Firefox. If this isn't showing up, you can just move your mouse over to the side. It's going to be that right-hand side by default. We can launch the web browser. It's also up here at the top, too. Nice and easy. So we'll give that a moment. 
and then on the attack box, open Firefox and paste the IP address into the URL bar. So if we go up here, I'm gonna open up just a new tab, close that first one, and we want to type in this IP address. So we can do that with 10, 10, 189, 47. This will be different for you. This is just the box that I'm attacking, so make sure you copy what's up here for you. Go and enter that in, and we can see that we have connected successfully to the TriHackMe network, which very easy with the attack box because it's already on the TriHackMe network for your own machine. You need to have OpenVPN running, which doesn't always work for most people. I recommend using the attack box. It's very, very easy. It's what I use for filming videos and just doing all my work on TriHackMe. It makes it nice and easy. And this is very, very fast because it's on the same network. So we can see, open the attack box, uh, on the attack box rather, open Firefox and paste the IP address. We can see that we've got that pulled up. And if we scroll down, we can see that we've got our flag. I'll just close that Firefox warning and we can type it in over here. Actually, let me show you how to copy it out of here real quick because this is a good thing to know. We can copy this. So highlight it, right click, select copy, and then go over here to this arrow on the left hand side and we can see a clipboard icon. Uh, here we also have the full screen option if we want to make this bigger. Uh, we can make it an entire tab in our web browser, which is really nice if you don't really need to see the room. I do that a lot for if I'm doing uh, a challenge room and I just want to have more screen real estate. We also have uh, uh, extra keys. So if we need to send a key combination such as control alt delete, we can do that with this button up here. However, we want what, uh, what is currently on the clipboard. We can go over here, highlight this again, then copy it with control and C. And then I'll paste it over there with control and V and then hit submit. And there we go. And we can see that I've got a streak from uh, a two day streak there. Let's go ahead and go into task two next steps. Now you've managed to start and access a try hack me machine. Let's get you hacking. Go ahead and join a learning path. So here we have our learning paths. We have um, several paths depending on the level or the skill level that you're currently at. I personally recommend joining the complete beginner path because even if you are a little bit beyond where this starts, you can just immediately start blazing through this. Uh, this is meant to get you up and running from the ground up so you can start by just learning core Linux skills. Even if you've never used Linux before, this is a really nice way to get involved and get started with it. And uh, you can get straight into pen testing in the later part of this path. If you are looking to move into getting some certifications, you can do the Offensive pen testing, this is meant to really prepare you for stepping into industry and being able to start performing pen tests or penetration tests against uh, company computers and start being able to find vulnerabilities yourself. And then on the defensive side, we also have the cyber defensive path down here at the bottom, which is meant to get you up and running on a defensive track to be able to step into such as a... Uh, uh, malware analysis role or working on a SOC, a uh, systems operations center, and start hunting down threats and other things like that. Very, very cool. Additionally, we do have our Discord community as well as the subreddit, which is r slash tryhackme, and then the Discord is discord.gg forward slash tryhackme. You can also see a link down to it here below. You can ask questions in here. Uh, this is my favorite place to hang out for tryhackme. Can't recommend it enough. Uh, one thing to keep this in mind, it is an educational environment, so please treat it as such. You can also find matches for other things such as King of the Hill and so on and so forth via that. So we can go ahead and mark this as completed since we've read the above and we're ready to explore Try Hack Me. If you're looking for a next step after this, make sure that you terminate this machine because we don't need it anymore. And then you can go up. I'm not going to close my attack box. Make sure you keep this open and you can click on this button which is going to be a little bit bigger for you. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize that. We can click on the learn button or go straight into a path. Learn is going to give us the option to explore modules. Paths are going to give us a guided path to start learning and get up and running very quickly. Otherwise, if you have any questions, feel free, feel free to hop in the Discord or in the subreddit and start asking. And until next time, happy hacking.